A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf will be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord, a reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you would adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes come into the assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you will pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes, and say, sit here please, while you say to the poor one, stand over there, or sit at my feet, have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my brothers and sisters. Did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs to the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord that the church may continue to fervently embrace its charge to evangelize to the ends of the earth. Let us pray. That the poor and suffering of the world may be rich in faith, firm in hope, and assured of God's love for them. Let us pray. That prejudice and discrimination in our world may give way to justice and compassion. Let us pray. That married couples may be supported and encouraged in their vocation of marriage. Let us pray. That the deceased members of this faith community may be welcomed into the loving embrace of God in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray. And for Yarnell Laffler, who we remember in a special way at this liturgy, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, receive your grace. Receive our prayer. 